You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Such a powerful woman. Hi, my ninjas. How are you doing? It's your girl, or I'm in nature, was already aka Miss Fia Fogel. Bring back for our entertainment. If it's the first time you're joining me, I'm Miss Dimin Lowe. Come, please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly over me. Now, my ninjas, I know that I've been MIA, guys. Unfortunately, I have been. Well, it's not unfortunately, but I've been so busy, guys, in terms of like putting the studio together, which is actually way more expensive than i thought <laughs> um but at the same time if you want to save money you gotta invest time because there's certain things that maybe getting someone to do them would have cut um and you get time i have to basically do those stuff so obviously time is something that i just do not have right now but i am almost done with everything i've just been going around like looking for lights like studio lights prizes and stuff and <sighs> curtains um you know there's a lot that's going on guys so yeah there's a lot but anyway today we're gonna go ahead and talk about some k guys there's this situation that i saw and a lot of you guys also wanted me to talk about it i feel like i'm so far hey <laughs> yeah so a lot of you guys also wanted me to talk about it so if you don't know who some k is she's basically one of the crew of uh, my body works for me this is a series that uh, or reality show that is actually on show makes I won't lie to you guys and claim that I've watched a single episode. I've not. Um, but my sisters have. And they seem to have enjoyed it, you know. And so the other thing, again, that I can go ahead and say is that um, I've seen clips, obviously, on TikTok mostly um, and stuff. And this lady by the name of Sam Gay, I think the first time that I actually got to know of her was uh, the time that she actually went on a podcast and she was training because everyone was like, why did she lose so much weight? Blah, blah, blah. And that was when I would say that like she basically got into my radar. That's how I got to know about her because they were doing like the before and after. There was a time that we also saw it was like she was walking in Joburg or someone that looked like her and the person did not look like she was in a good state of mind. And so, obviously, you know, that is that. Um, so, if there's anything that I can go ahead and say is that her mother, and remember, this is my opinion. In my opinion, that woman does not deserve to have a child. In my personal opinion. I feel like there are people that they have kids because for you to have a child, obviously, it's you having sex. But they don't deserve to be mothers. They don't deserve to be fathers. Because at the end of the day, guys, like bringing a child into this world is not enough. You have to bring the child. You have to make sure that you look after the child. You care for the child. You are with your child. You protect them from everything. And I think that after just looking at her mother's reaction or the way that her mother is, I am literally not shocked that this girl is into, is into prostitution, sex work. Work, you know but anyway ninjas i'm gonna go ahead and just play this clip um or these clips there's a voice audio and then there's also um an interview that some guest mother did and i'm gonna be back with the rest of my commentary if you know, I had the power. Hey, I had the power. I destroyed your life when I destroyed you. You are walking dirty because of me. Eh? I had the power. Now, man, I have power. I have power. I have I have power. I have power. I have power. I have I have power. I have I have power. I have power. I have now obviously you guys had that disgusting voice note and disgusting um interview for some of you guys that do not understand a long voyage i'm gonna go ahead and just summarize she basically saying that she does not wish anything good for her daughter if anything she wishes her child would be in a car accident and get paralyzed basically you know she wishes that the boyfriend her child lives with would kill her in a country where GBV is so high 
And that's what this disgusting woman um, has to say. In my personal opinion, she's very much disgusting. She does not be, uh, deserve to be a mother. And I think that I've said this before, that you being a mother, you don't need to have birthed a child, you know. Um, or just because you gave birth to a child does not make you a mother, does not make you a father. Um, because a mother is someone that mothers a child. And do I see this woman being a mother to her daughter? A thousand percent not. There was also another clip that I saw from the show wherein it was as if she was going to some guest place for the first time. And she was so content of like, oh, how much do you pay here? And I think some guy said she pays 3,000 rands, like it's a room. And she was like, oh, you have money, Musi. You should move back home and give me that 3,000. So there's a reason why she ran away from you, Shao. There's a reason why she did not stay home and give you the 3000 It's because I'm sure she wanted her own space, which obviously if this is the kind of vile human being that she is, then who would want to be anywhere close to someone like this? I think that the sad part about this whole situation is... This is the reality of a lot of people. The only difference that is there is the fact that um, the mothers don't have public platforms that they actually sit and talk about this stuff. Or their audios have just never been leaked. But trust and believe there are many parents, especially mothers, guys. I'm not even going to lie. Especially mothers that just feel so entitled to their children that no matter what you have, she feels entitled to whatever it is that you have. As a parent... It's not your daughter or it's not your son's responsibility for them to take care of you. That is why you cannot go to maintenance court and actually say that, hey, I'm here because my daughter is not supporting me or my, my son is not supporting me. Whereas your son that is 50 years old can still go to court and say that, hey, my mother is not supporting me and I'm unable to support myself. And if they do find that you can be able to support yourself and this 50-year-old, trust and believe maintenance is still granted. You are a parent for life. The black community sometimes is very toxic. I'm going to just be honest with you guys. Very, very toxic. Because this is what most of the parents actually believe. That the moment that you have anything, even if it's one rent, they feel so entitled to that one rent that it's supposed to come to me. To a point where you sit on a public platform and say that you wish and you hope that the boyfriend your child stays with would just kill her. And basically... What I saw was that she wants to humble Usamke. Like if Samke is paralyzed or something. And guys, I'm not even going to try and be disrespectful. From the clip that I saw, the place where she's staying, it looked like a room. Anywhere that you can pay 3000 especially in Gauteng, it's not really like, you know, a lavish place. That's something that, you know, I've obviously seen. So she's not someone that looks rich. I feel like she's someone that is just trying for herself and doing the best that she can. And remember, guys, being on television does not mean that you have money. A lot of your celebrities that you see on TV, your actors, your actresses, they're broke. I'm going to be honest with you guys. They don't have the money. And not a matter of them mis spending the money or misusing the money. They just don't have it. They don't get paid enough. Some YouTubers make more than uh, 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 your, your actors and actresses um, on, 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 in South Africa. And the other worst part about it is that I think if I'm not mistaken, Wandi did come out and reveal that for the first um, season they got 50,000 rands. And I think for the second, it was at 100. I'm not sure. But 50,000 rands is not a lot of money. Not in this economy, not in this time. If someone was to come and say, here's 50,000, of course it would be a lot. But if it's coming like once off and that's for a job of you shooting so many um, um, episodes, seasons and stuff, uh, not seasons, obviously because it's for that season, but it's not really a lot of money. It's not uh, money that you can be able to afford to now go and rent. Like even if the place is going to be paying 5,000 rent a month, that 50,000 cannot pay you for 12 months. It can't, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yeah, it can't. It can only pay 10 months. Do you understand? So I don't know where she expects her daughter or what she wants from her daughter. You know, for me, she just really rubbed me off the wrong way. She, for me, is a definition of an evil mother. Um, you know, that's what we literally call an evil parent, an evil mother. They sit down and they wish bad upon their kids simply because they want their children to constantly be under their thumb. And mind you guys, like, we are adults, okay? We grow we become adults that make our own decisions and our own financial plans. And we will be able to give who we want 
we will be able to spend on who we want to spend with. It's just on, basically. It's just, it really did honestly break my heart. Um, I feel like I now understand, like, why she's actually into sex work. If that is the mother that you've had to grow up with, I think you can literally do anything just to make sure that you you get away from this person. Um, it's really honestly such a sad situation. I really honestly just feel so sorry for her. Um, just because I believe honestly, like nobody deserves this, you know, nobody deserves to have a parent actually treat them, uh, this way. One thing that parents, some parents, I feel like just don't understand is the fact that when you don't get, um, the love from your parent as a child, obviously you get to a point where, you know, you get used to it, you get to a point where you accept, but it's such a long journey. It's a way longer journey than if maybe you're getting rejected by a boyfriend, a friend or something. But a parent, it's like a definition of someone that is supposed to unconditionally love you. You know, from the day you're born to the day you die, like they should mourn you for the rest of their life, even if it happens a lot forbid, you pass first before them. And so to be at a point where the same person that is supposed to love and protect you is actually saying such harsh and, and horrible things. And this is what she wishes... Guys, imagine if she's comfortable to can sit on a public platform and say something like this. What does she what are the deep deep dark secrets that she actually feels about her daughter? The other thing again that I think that happens also is that when parents fail, most of them they would like to put the blame of their failures on their children. I know this family um where in the mother and the father they blamed their son that oh no, you know, anytime you ask like anytime anybody asks anything like oh why didn't you build a house? Well, you know, we were taking our son to varsity, but when he came back after getting a job, he just married this girl and they left. She never did anything. And I'm like, but varsity is only four years. <laughs> only four years. What were you doing your whole life? What were you doing before this child was born that made you fail to actually build a house wherein you claim varsity took the money whilst you even damn well know that the child went to school and it's fast. And that's the situation with most black families. I'm telling they don't even care to listen or care to want to know how much do you get paid. They expect you to go to varsity, come back, build them houses, do things for them that you, you have not even done for yourself, things that you can't even afford to do for yourself, but they expect you to just be their slave. If you don't become their slave, these are the sentiments that they basically share. So you don't need to be very, very careful. Trust and believe. I'm telling you guys, like, it's really so bad. It gets to a point where even parents go to Sangomas to make sure that they wish their kids, to make sure that their kids' things do not go well, or they try to dumb them so that um, whatever scent they see, they will only just think about the mother or the father and stuff like that. It is disgusting behavior. Honestly, I my heart hurts for some K. Um, I do hope that, you know, obviously she's going to be okay. I do hope that she actually does go to therapy. And not only just because of, oh, you know, the interview or the leaked audio. No, just because, I mean, this is stuff that I just surfacing into the light. I can't imagine the horror that child has had to maybe live with that woman. So that's why I'm saying that I do hope that she actually sees a psychologist. I don't know if she does. As I said, I've never watched the show, but I do hope that she actually does. And it's really honestly something that is quite sad. Do not have kids if you're not ready for kids. If you don't have the money to have the child, don't have that uh, child. So that you can be able to love your child proper and be the one that actually spends on your child and not be some bum that sits and expects that a child that you so raise is the one that will come and literally deliver you uh, like they're your savior from poverty. It's so sad. And I think the sad part about it is that it's a lot of parents, guys, that feel like Usamke's uh, mom. And the problem, again, is that our generation, guys, is actually, I won't call it woke, but I think that we are just at a point where we refuse to take abuse, even if it's from our parents. So if I have to actually remove myself from you, I have to cut you off even though you're my parent, I'll do that. And then this is the statements that they, they, they have because they think, oh, it's because um, she has money now or it's because she's getting that 10000 that 20000 that's why she's not here um, close to me. Uh, 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 if only God can just close that tap of whatever she's getting so that she can come back to me so that they can still boost and act like God. Um, and uh, you, you, may you die disappointed and may you die early because near soup. May you die, Elisha, and uh, may you die disappointed, and may God bless all the kids that 
um, you know, their parents feel like this for no reason. Because I don't believe that there's any reason enough that would make you as a parent actually want your child to be killed or your child to be in an accident and be at a point where they're helpless so that you can now play God and say, yeah, I told you. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, I did that. That's so disgusting. So, 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 so disgusting. That woman is a vile, in my opinion. She's a vile human being. And she should just be so ashamed of herself. Like, she should be so ashamed of herself. So ashamed. She's very toxic. That is toxic traits in my personal opinion, you know. And yes, guys, if anything that I can tell you is that if you have got parents, because I know that people that don't know and people that don't understand, when you only talk of um, or you come from a point of privilege in terms of having good parents, you'll never fathom what I'm, I'm going to say right now. But if you have got your parents and they are literally abusive, cut them off. Cut them. Keep it moving. Trust and believe. Keep it moving. Um, it will do you some good because they are really just vile, evil parents. Like, what nonsense is this? And when you just, I love you guys. Stay blessed. And of course, you guys know, I will see you guys in my next upload. Please do make sure that you comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation from your queen. I will definitely see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.